What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to bring you guys on another shadowing vlog. is going to be slightly different if you could tell by my surroundings you already can tell that i am not in toronto canada i'm back home home which is in hong kong and uh today i am going to shadow some kairos in hong kong to understand the differences so a little bit of the background for the clinic that I'm going to shadow today. I am going to a clinic called Momentum.hk. Uh, it is a multidisciplinary clinic between um, chiropractic physiotherapist. The clinician that I'm going to shadow today is Dr. Ian Shaw. He's also a chiropractor, a CMCC alum, and uh, I think he took an interest in climbing too. So I'll be very interested to see how he integrates the arts of climbing and chiropractic so with that all set let's get into it so this is the amount people usually traveling to work so i'm currently on route to uh the clinic now i think this will be the longest escalator in hong kong Running a little bit late, so uh, I'm going to walk. walk. And it continues. So it's raining, so I'm gonna run. <laughs> oh my god. So just me finding shelter at Tai Gun right now, looking for my way. Alright, a slight hiccup. I am currently right outside that building. So right off the bat, I was greeted by Dr. Alessandra Chen, who is another CMCC alum. She gave me a tour around the clinic and we then had a conversation on her journey coming all the way from Canada to Hong Kong for her career. She was also very kind to let me shadow her. Alright, so the first case that I've observed today is a pregnancy case. The mother who is pregnant for 32 weeks and suffers some lumbar pelvic pain. So some of the techniques that was utilized was some SI joint mobilization, a pubic rami mobilization, which is uh, trying to open up or mobilize the pubic synthesis. Dr. Chang also did a psoas stiffness check. So for more of a soft tissue release, uh, the muscles that Dr. Chen focused today was the piriformis, sacral tuberous ligament, and some of the manipulations also include side posture, lumbar, manipulation and a seated thoracic lift. Shortly Dr. Shaw arrived and she showed me this very exciting study that he is currently working on, collecting the false profiles of climbers grip strength and the idea is to see if there's any difference should they sustain any finger injury which is very common for the climbing population. Here is some of my preliminary data and I just find it pretty cool that Dr. Shaw managed to combine his skills in science and his passion in climbing. And as for the second case, which is a scoliosis cases with Dr. Shaw. So the patient comes in with a mild scoliosis, but the patient has already reached a skeletal maturity. I have experienced some of the tightness in one side of uh, the ribcage and mid back. So in terms of the techniques I've observed today, there is a lot of grip head mobilization, some erectors, soft tissue release, and for manipulation, there's some grip head adjustment uh, in the mid thoracic spine. And uh, towards the end of the therapy session, Dr. Shaw also instructed several exercises for the patient. So there's this one exercise that was instructed, uh, basically teaching the patient to do like a push-pull maneuver to help stabilize the rib cage. And uh, Hello. We have a visitor. Oh, you want to play? Interruption. 
But yeah, towards the end of the therapy session, Dr. Shaw also instructed uh, several exercises. There's this one exercise called the push and pull that aims to stabilize the stability of the rib cage and also the scapular really to help maintain the patient's posture and strengthen the weaker side. Also another exercise called the supine kettlebell raise which aims to again strengthen uh, the weaker side of the scoliosis patient. All right, all right, so I've just finished my uh, first session of shadowing. Now heading to go to lunch because I'm super hungry at the moment and let me bring you to one of my favorite restaurants in Hong Kong. And we are here. Here we go. So I've just finished my lunch. And guess where I pass by? The infamous Lang Kwai Fong in daytime. So it looks like this. Alright, so for session 2, I've observed another two patients with Dr. Shaw. So for the third case, a disc herniation cases. In terms of the techniques I've observed, uh, there's a great deal of soft tissue targeting on QL, erector spinae. There are several thoracolumbar lumbar fascia gali too, which is kind of cool. Also, uh, Dr. Shaw actually used some dry needling techniques on the QL and erector spine so this is also something that i have never observed before then ended up with some lumbar uh, mobilization and thoracic manipulation so yeah overall there's certainly new things that i have never seen before lots to learn so for case number four it is actually a uh, ankle pain and neck pain cases ankle pain is actually from an ankle sprain of the atfl neck pain is again mechanical neck pain so for the ankle what i observed was there was a a lot of ankle joint mobilization and, and also specific advice on muscle endurance and proprioception exercise there was also some tbrs interior soft tissue work and, and some at the gastroc and soleus. So for manipulation, there was uh, this distraction of the ankle mortis and the navicular uh, adjustment. As for the neck pain, there's a great deal of soft tissue work at the suboccipital. A lot of mobilization on lateral flexion. And for manipulation, I've observed a cervical rotary and some thoracic adjustment at the CT junction specifically. So yeah, with that all said, this marks the end of my shadowing. Shout out to Dr. Shaw and Dr. Chen for letting me shadow them. It's been great. I've learned a lot, so great shout out to them. And if you guys enjoy this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Any questions at all, comment down below. And finally, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And with that all said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.